हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम श्रुति हिरेमठ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जुआलॉजी सी के ठाकुर कॉलेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट डिस्कस्ड टॉपिक ऑफ द ईयर 2020 ट्वेंटी वैक्सीन्स वैक्सीन्स एज वी नो वी ऑल हैव बीन एडमिनिस्टर्ड एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इन आर लाइफ बट डू वी रियली नो हाउ दीज वैक्सीन्स वर्क डू वी रियली नो वॉट आर द रूट्स ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ दिस वैक्सीन एंड हाउ डज इट इफेक्ट आर इम्यून सिस्टम In today's lecture we are going to discuss and try to find answers to some of these questions. Vaccines as we know they train the immune system to release an antibody which help to neutralize the substances or any pathogen that enters the body. Vaccines also help to fight the diseases and it also gives herd immunity and it stops the transmission from one person to another person of the pathogen like this we can actually eradicate any given disease that can be affecting the human kind vaccines you can see has a very elaborate history if we see the timeline of vaccines we can trace the vaccine or the presence of vaccine back to the 16th century but the first vaccine was discovered by the edward jenner who is also called as father of immunology edward jenner discovered the first ever vaccine on smallpox later there were several vaccines that were discovered on diphtheria tetanus tuberculosis rabies etc in today's era we have some genetically engineered vaccines सब एम आर एन ए वैक्सीन्स एंड वायरल वैक्टर वैक्सीन्स टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वैक्सीन्स वर्क वी फर्स्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड आर इम्यून सिस्टम आर इम्यून सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स सेल्स विच आर वेरी वेल ट्रेन टू फाइट एनी गिवन पैथोजन दैट एंटर्स आर बॉडी आर इम्यून सिस्टम इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज वन इज एन इनट इम्यूनिटी द सेकेंड इज एन adaptive immunity innate immunity is a type of immunity which is present from birth the cells of innate immune system are basophils eosinophils neutrophils dendritic cell etc when we talk about vaccines vaccines basically elicit or place with our adaptive immune system the adaptive immune system consists of two chief cells they are b cell and t cell the b cell can be further classified or they can further form two classes of cells first is our plasma cells which produce antibodies these antibodies interact with a specific region on the antigen or any given pathogen and neutralizes the pathogen the second type of cell that is produced by the b cell are the memory cells memory cells generate a memory so that whenever the second pathogen or if there is any encounter of the body second time with the pathogen they create the memory and give an immediate response towards an antigen these are the antibody that interact with a specific site on the antigen or the pathogen and help to fight any given disease vaccine can be classified into two major subunits first is a whole antigen vaccine and the second is a subunit vaccine when we talk about the whole agent vaccine the vaccine is basically neutralized or it is made less active so that it gives an immune response without harming the person who is taking it second vaccine is a subunit vaccine which can be conjugated with any given protein or a dna molecule we see the first category of live attenuated vaccines attenuation basically means to make any given pathogen less pathogenic that means we are taking away the power of the pathogen to infect and to cause the disease attenuation can be done or it is done by growing this particular pathogen in different host when the pathogen is transferred from one host to another due to unfavorable environment over a long period of time the pathogen loses its ability to infect a given person this is how the live attenuated vaccines work 
द सेकेंड क्लास ऑफ वैक्सीन आर मेड बाय हीट किल्ड और इनएक्टिवेटेड वैक्सीन हीट किल्ड और इनएक्टिवेशन इज डन बाय मेकिंग द पैथोजन सब्जेक्ट टू हीट और दे आर ट्रीटेड विथ फॉर्मल डिहाइड विच इज अ रूटीन केमिकल यूज टू इनएक्टिवेट अ गिवन पैथोजन यर अ बैक्टीरियल और अ वायरल स्ट्रेन इज टेकन इट इज बींग हीट inactivated or it is being treated with certain chemicals later the vaccine is produced this vaccine when administers activates the b cells and immune response is given which neutralizes the given pathogen the third kind of vaccine generation is a toxoid vaccine when we talk about a toxoid vaccines we have two moieties over here one is a toxin and the second one is a toxoid when we talk about toxin it is a harmful substance when administered in a person's body it will definitely lead to the death of that person so this particular toxin is converted into less harmful form which is called as a toxoid toxoid when in injected into a person it will treat the person but it will not cause the death of the person means the body will give the immunity all the immune cells will be activated the toxin will be eliminated without causing any harm to the person this is how the toxoid vaccines are made this toxoid can be conjugated with the vaccine and can be administered in a person here we can see how this particular vaccine actually elicits the immune response and how the particular pathogen is being neutralized in the first step the at vaccine is being administered into a person's body there are specialized immune cells which are called as antigen presenting cell these antigen presenting cell neutralize or they make an alarm to the t cell t cell later comes into action this t cell allows the differentiation of the b cells which are primarily making the antibodies these t cells and b cells together activate and produce n number of antibodies which can further neutralize the pathogen in this way whenever the vaccine is administered the antibodies neutralize the pathogen at the same time the memory cells of the b cells they release or they have a memory so that the next time when the pathogen is encountered it will kill the pathogen without causing any harm to the human body next when we see or when we talk about the roots of vaccine administration we just see a superficial layer that is the dermis when the any given vaccine is administered but below this dermis or below the epidermis we can have several different layers where the vaccine can be administered the epidermis is the upper layer the dermis is the second layer of the skin anatomy and the third one is the subcutaneous layer and the last one is the muscles based on the composition of the vaccine based on how this vaccines are going to interact with the host these particular routes of administration are being advised or they are designed this particular routes of administration are given so that it can lead or it can have least muscle damage in the area in which they are being administered so the first type of administration we see is an intramuscular administration as we can see over here the intramuscular administration the vaccine is directly administered in the muscle the second way is a subcutaneous way of vaccine administration in the second way we can totally see here that the subcutaneous tissue is being targeted and the vaccine is injected in the subcutaneous tissue the third type of vaccine administration is intradermal we can see the dermis is a region where the vaccine can be administered so beneath the epidermis and the dermis there are several different layers where the vaccines can be targeted and they can be administered now when we have studied about vaccine we should or we have to understand about how this covid vaccine has been made which has been a blessing to the mankind covid vaccine basically makes the spike protein and the spike protein is particularly clubbed or it can uh, be clubbed with a viral vector 
this viral vector as we say vector vector is nothing but a molecule or a transporter which can transport a given genetic material from one molecule an organism to another organism so the spike protein is being replicated and it is being packed inside this viral vector secondly when this vaccine is administered in the human cells the spike protein is recognized as a non self or a pathogenic molecule body will definitely give an immune response to the spike protein and in this response several antibodies are being generated which will neutralize the pathogen which has been administered now here we have to note that the pathogen that is administered is less harmful either it is inactivated or it's just a part of the pathogen that we are administering so we can say that it is not harmful or it will not cause the death of a person but surely an immune response will be given to this pathogen now the next time when the actual pathogen is entering inside the body the antibodies will be swiftly produced and it will neutralize all the pathogen or any given virus that attacks our body here in the picture you can see two different vaccines first is a co vaccine and the second is a human papilloma virus vaccine The Covaxin is India's first indigenous vaccine that has been produced. At the same time, recently there has been a vaccine for the human papilloma virus which helps in treating or curing the cervical cancer in women. These two are the indigenous vaccines that are being produced by India. The third diagram over here can be seen is of a Gavi Alliance. Gavi Alliance is founded by Melinda and Bill Gates and it is giving or it is helping the underprivileged people to give or to take the vaccines so that we can have a herd immunity equally in all people. So vaccines are important. Vaccines can put a full stop to any given pandemic. and therefore it is important to know about the action types and how these vaccines work thank you